well hello everyone and welcome back to life of wonders welcome back to my channel this is polo and today i am super excited because i'm just about to share with all of you these um childhood uh beanie plush alice in wonderland collection that i've had for a very long time i think i was almost like a teenager by the time i got this but uh again it's been like at least a couple of decades um they were released in the 90s uh by the disney store and i remember it was a present from uh one of my sisters uh and she actually bought it uh in the us though uh she was living in the uk at the time and i i don't know i mean i've always loved uh alice in wonderland and i've kept it um in like the best condition i could i never ever even removed the tags even though they've been displayed in many different places and um i don't know how many of them like uh four uh five six seven eight nine ten eleven, twelve twelve in total taking into account the, the twiddles are come together and the originally retailed um i didn't know actually about it and um, until i checked it now uh this is the black card uh bean bag um and each one was like six dollars and nine uh, canadian dollars again in the mid 90s so that would translate to at least double the price right now i would say and they are supposed to be like the smallest um yeah bean bags or like plushes uh that we can find nowadays at the Disney store but I don't think we have as many characters anymore for Alice and there was this was just amazing. Um I loved the Disney store as a kid. I am so sad that apparently it's going to be dissolved like as a you know a big portion of it as we're not going to be having uh physical shops as such um only probably just a few worldwide i think that the one at um um oxford street in london uh it's going to be kept uh but most of them are going to disappear and it's all going to be like shop disney.com or dot uh, eu or whatever wh where you're based but you can't go to you, we are not going to be able to go to the physical store to um i don't know have a great time while shopping actually disney items without being in the parks um and that is one of the, of the really nice things about the disney store is that to me they always um there were always places that without going to the parks as such like uh, like Paris or Orlando or California or wherever it, it, it was like a bit of Disney magic that we could all access and uh, the way it was decorated and everything it was already quite immersive and without being a park or anything like that it was a really nice experience so I'm kind of very sad that that is happening I think it's already started in the US that um, a lot of them are closing down uh, same in the UK um, uh, where I'm based right now there is still okay but apparently it's just a matter of one year or something as I was um, having a talk um, well having a talk chatting with one of the cast members the other day that I went uh, personally to pick up my dolls anyway sad but um I always have the uh, Oxford Street one in London. I have so many great memories from that one, actually. Um, ever since I was a kid, I I visited that since I was very young. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy that at least that one will be there. I guess that the one at the... Um, uh fifth avenue in new york will still be there as well i've been there as well and i have great memories of it but again there were like there was almost like one disney store in a any major city um i was told by um my best friend here on youtube and box she lives in uh australia that uh 
they actually had one in Sydney that was close, closed down as well uh, a long time ago and that must have must felt uh, sad and that this is like happening everywhere anyway I mean I don't want to be carried away by this uh, thought but um, but obviously I wanted to mention this because these specific dolls were part of the Disney store as such I'm guessing that probably you could find them in the parks as well because most of the things that w were sold at Disney store were also part of like at least at the time the American parks um I don't know about Euro Disney that became Disneyland Resort Paris later on I think I don't know I don't know about that uh, but anyway here uh, we have the whole collection for Alice in Wonderland. Uh, they're a little bit dusty though. Again, I try to take great care of them. Um, and I think that most of them look so much like the characters from the movie. Uh, and I'm really surprised because at the time in the 90s, like, I don't know, the Disney Store Heart, it's ups and downs and there were things that were not like perfect uh in terms of execution when like in dolls in the doll form for example uh, i mean we had the Walt disney classics collection and many other releases that weren't part of disney store as such and they were perfect uh but i'm, I'm very surprised that yeah they, they're super cool i would say that other than alice uh here that it's like a little bit more um, this, I mean, Alice is, it's, it goes towards more of like any other, um, rag doll, um, like a raggedy and or something. It has like the, um, uh, yarn, uh, hair, which is super cool, but I don't think she looks like us from the animation as such. Uh, but any other one. I think it does, especially that dorm mouse over there. Wow. Anyway, all of them really. Um, and I like this Alice though. She was my favorite because, um, again, because it was like that kind of. I also like when the dolls do not look like, especially for Alice, because I I always thought that um, it could look like other representations from the uh, Lewis Carroll um, illustrations or something, and um, and that is why I liked her so much because I could relate her to other depictions of Alice uh, other than the just the, the Disney animation from the 50s um, so anyway I'm going to uh, to get closer and show uh, to you every single one um, and so we can all appreciate it and hopefully this will bring a little bit of um, I don't know, nice memories from your childhood if you collected these as a kid or if you're an Alice in Wonderland fan, uh, probably uh, this will help you as well if if you have the chance to get this collection now uh, on the secondary market or if you just appreciate it like I do. Uh, so here we have the Dodo, which is a very rare kind of like, I don't think it's common at all to have like these um character and it's really nicely done and executed i think every single one was six pounds again uh, sorry six pounds six dollars or nine uh in canada and um and it's just super really nicely done with the fabric the stitching um the embroidery the little ribbon i mean seriously it's a very very nice character and um yeah, I remember I've always loved this one because, again, it was kind of rare. And right now we can get the deluxe figure sets and things like that. And I don't think he's included even in those. So that is that is why this is such a rare character. But it's kind of important from... Um, it's important in the in the in the um original story as well as in the movie as well, in the animation Um Anyway, that's that. Here we have the dodo. Um, here we have the March hair. Uh, that is super cool as well. And I think it's hilarious. Uh, and I also like how uh, true to the animation it is. Um, 
um, super cool, super cool because it, we, we're so used to just getting the white rabbit, but then the March hat is just so important as well. Here's the uh, white rabbit and he's got these like glasses um, in plastic. I don't know if the plastic was supposed to be completely clear. Right now it's yellowed <laughs> a little bit. Um, but again, they're like, um, I mean, they have, they're a little bit dusty, but I've kept her in the best possible condition. Um, and yeah, so um, this is the white rabbit. It's just super cool. Um, same proportion as for the match hair. Um, and here we have the queen of hearts, which is, was her the same price? No, just a tiny bit more expensive. <laughs> uh, One dollar um, for the US. Although, yeah, $3, but that is like the difference, I would say, uh, in Canada. And she's pretty cool as well. And uh, the details are amazing. She even has like bloomers, like with the hearts and um, the inner part of the sketch. And wow, I mean, she's super detailed, really, now that I think of it. Um, so this is the Queen of Hearts. Um, and now here, here we have the Twiddles. Um, they were sold together and that is why this is like the most, well, it isn't like the most, ex is it? Okay, yes, I think it is because as they are two, um, it was double the price. But again, I mean, nowadays this price is like so silly uh, because it's just so incredibly cheap for what we would get, but we would have to, to convert it to uh, what it would be like in uh, current times. And so this is Twiddle uh, D and this is Twiddle Tom. And they are connected. I mean, they're connected in a really nice way. I mean, you, you might think that they aren't. And I think you can... Can you... Yes, they can actually be... Wow, I don't think I've ever done this uh, before. Um, okay, no, so they're still connected. I don't, but you can definitely take these, I um, mean, um, with the scissors and then have them separate. I've always displayed them like this. I was always like, um, taking so much, um, care of, of them that I never thought they would have this Velcro here. Um, that would allow them to actually get separated and they can, but they were sold together, um, for $12. Um, so again, double the price, but because you get two and they have all the details, they're super cool. They're super cool. I know that in, um, Japan, uh, Alice is, is a very, uh, is very much appreciated. And I noticed that when I was there visiting Tokyo Disneyland a few years ago, um, well, there is, there is a restaurant, uh, there that it was incredibly nicely themed then at the Disneyland and the, the main hotel just in front of the Magic Kingdom, there is a lot of references to Alice as well. And, uh, they might have a lot of extra, um, and I also got, yeah, they, they might have, I mean, I, I, I know this because I, I actually bought a lot of like little things, uh, like ornaments and things that were exclusive. Um, and they were all Alice related and I might showcase quite a few from my trip to Tokyo. Um, I got, I, definitely I got quite a few ornaments from Alice and I also loved like the, um, the Sea World is it called? No, is it? No, it isn't called Sea World. Oh my goodness, how is it called? Like the uh, Disney Sea, um, and the Agrabah section. Of, wow, wow, and the Little Mermaid section. Uh, everything. I mean, everything uh, from the Disney Sea is just like breathtaking, and um, yeah, I loved it. But uh, any anyhow, I just mentioned it because I know that they might have like a lot more merchandise in relation to Alice. Um, so any anyway, <laughs> that's um, Twiddledim, uh, Twiddledee and Twiddledum. And here we have the Dormouse, which always was a little bit of my favorite, I think, because I think it's like the one that is like, I don't know, um, closest to the, again, the Disney animation of it, even though the proportions aren't like, 
accurate here because the Dormouse is supposed to be really small and he's actually bigger than the Marta or the Rabbit. Uh, but I mean, these eyes are just melting my heart. Um, he's super cute and um, I love everything about it. They're very soft actually and then they have different fabric for it, like the um, outfits. Uh, they're really nicely done. Uh, the embroidery for the eyes is just uh, magnificent as well. And then I believe I have it complete. I don't know. I mean, there might be like other pieces, but I believe that my sister got it like complete for me. Um, this was the red card bean bag. Uh, so there's a black one and a red one and they have like the same yeah it's the same but uh obviously here we have like a heart and here we have how is it called uh from the polka um cards um anyway this is the right one and i think these are these are rather rare as well i would say and they were the same price and i don't think that for example so many people would actually buy these ones as you know if you if you could just choose a few because i don't think they were sold like all together but you you had to buy them all, you know the, the ones that you liked uh so probably you would choose the Mahata alice the, the queen of hearts um the chesser the uh, cart something like that uh but um so i'm guessing these are kind of rare and super cool actually they're nicely proportioned to like alice and um the queen of hearts and that is something i love and um again i'm going to show you alice alice is just so cute so cute and i'm loving this hair um so soft and um yeah so cute <laughs> so um rudimentary so 90s in a way i mean um uh, i don't know it's just like an all all time favorite classic raggedy uh sort of like doll uh cloth doll and what else oh okay so here we have the mahata and the mahata is really cool i mean he looks a bit angry uh but he kind of looks like it um in the animation a bit um and i think that the details are amazing i remember i actually took alice and the hatter on one uh to one of my trips i don't know where it was i think it was paris uh but i remember i took them with me and i had them at the hotel i i never took them to the park because again i was kind of of like um super careful with them i didn't want to like um but I took them with me in my suitcase and um and, and now I'm I'm getting like um yeah I'm getting memories of the Mahatas in particular being on the bed and and just like um me looking forward to come back to the room because they had my dolls there. Um yeah, those are really, really good memories. So anyway that's the mahata and here we have the cheshire cat and he's looking amazing as well i mean he was again same price uh super oops super cool um i think that he might be on the white rabbit and there's another alice right now but for these kind of like uh size he might be the only one in this size uh right now at the normal and the normal again without taking into consideration the items that you would find at the Disney store in, in Japan, for example. I think I've only seen this one um uh, recently in recent years. And obviously it's also like in real um in a realistic size as well, like in a big size, uh same as uh for Lucifer uh from Cinderella and stuff and um yeah yeah so anyway um because I, I wanted to mention as well because i um i also have like the um plush toys for the uh life action uh the lady and the trump and i might be showcasing these uh next uh in another video i love them very much and i love that life action actually i love the classic of course uh but the live action i loved it and i loved uh the new toys that they created for that i also also got wink i think it's called from the live action cruella um and i also have it um so any anyway but this is this was like the my collection of like 90s um 
Bini Bar from the beloved uh, establishment, um, the Disney store uh, that we are all, all going to miss so much. Well, thankfully, we'll have Shop Disney and then again, a few of the shops will be kept um, as they are. So, yeah, fingers crossed for them not to disappear ever. Uh, <laughs> but, well, I hope you've enjoyed this review uh, of like my vintage, uh, again, 90s collection from my chat from my childhood or early teen years um i'm always so happy sharing all these things with all of you and if you've enjoyed it don't forget to give me a thumbs up as well as hit in the subscribe button because i have so many more things that i would love to share with all of you and for now i hope you all stay safe and i'll see you very soon bye bye